We're here at the Detroit Championship, checking with team number 5050, Countal Robotics, out here in Michigan. These are the winners of the Consumers Energy Division at Michigan State Championship and looking really good here in Detroit as well. So I'm here with Bridget, Tim, Max, and also helping out is Jonathan. We're going to check out more about their robot here on Behind the Bumpers. So starting out, uh, something that was really cool, you kind of told me you have a left-right shoot on your robot that's been very effective. So Bridget, why don't you start out telling us about that? All right, so our left-right shooter, um, we take in through the front, right through here, there's a little intake mechanism. Um, then <laughs> there's an IR sensor right here that will stop the ball once it senses it in there so it won't shoot out either side. Um, and then we can determine, just with the press of a button, which way it shoots out of the left-right shooter. Um, we only use three motors. There's one right here, one right here, and one in the back. Uh, and then, yeah, that's pretty much it with the left-right shooter. So it's been very effective for you guys here on 5050. Uh, another thing on here you kind of mentioned is this floppy intake thing. And it looks a little bit wonky, but it works really, really well. So Tim, why don't you tell us about that? Yeah, so a lot of people don't realize how effective our interesting little stick we have here. So it has a lot of, a lot of different variability in it. It can bend, it's got a lot of movement into it, and we can um, meet any angle of whatever we're approaching. To pick it up, we have a set encoder position about right there. It goes onto it, we just sweep up, and then we hold it right up nice and tight against the elevator as we travel around. And then we have a set position about here, and then we kind of slide it off. We can slide off at different varieties of angles to help us, because we don't have a swerve drive, we just have a kit of parts base, and it's helped us a lot throughout the season. And wrapping up this robot, Max, uh, you mentioned you have a lot of different cameras on this robot and some cool stuff going on for the sandstorm period. Why don't you tell us about that? So for Sandstorm, we have a four camera array. Our first one is our main fisheye camera here. This gives us a 180 degree view of the front of the robot, and we use that for driving in the Sandstorm. On the frame down towards the bottom, underneath each shooter, we have a camera aimed to the side so we can see where our shooter is lined up. And then finally, our fourth camera is on a stick here on the top of the shooter, and that camera actually follows our hatch mechanism, and it allows us to see, like, back of the rocket high, those really hard to reach places and then finally our hab climb it's a very good climb it's completely automated it's it can go to both um, hab 2 and hab 3 they have we have infrared sensors buried in the frame that tell the robot how far onto the hab it's gone so the robot does it automatically it's on the press of a button and it's about eight seconds for hab 3 and five seconds for hab 2. 50-50 Cowtown Robotics looking absolutely phenomenal here in Detroit. Can't wait to see more of your robot here. Good luck the rest of the way. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.